All right, we'll start by showing you the integration between connection and detail 3D. In this example, we'll start with this model and we've already ran the analysis for it. On the left-hand side, we can see that everything is passing except the anchors. And on the right-hand side, we can always see those detail results for every single anchor. Even more, we can always expand this window to see all the different formula checks for every single anchor, and from there, find out what was making this anchor fail. Now, after this, you are given either two options. The first one, you can result to the manual supplementary reinforcement for these anchors, or the second one, you can use the integration between connection and detail 3D to take care of that anchor reinforcement. In the second case, all you have to do to be able to do this anchor reinforcement or this additional supplementary reinforcement is to just click on this RC check button. Whenever you click this RC check button, you will be allowed to save your file as a new detail file. This new detail file will already be converted and sending all this information directly to our detail application. So once you've saved it, this new file will open automatically in a new window within the detail application. Now within this new imported file, we can see that a lot of information is brought over from connection. You get the concrete geometry, your base plate geometry, your anchor position, and most importantly, you get the results for your analysis. If we look here on the right-hand side on our tree of operations, we can see that we're bringing all the different load case scenarios. When we click on every single one, we can zoom in and we can see all the different forces that are brought over. These detailed results allows us to be able to, to see these forces a lot better and to be able to observe the stresses more accurately. Now, once you brought all this information here into the detail application, all that is left to do is for you to be able to finalize one, your concrete geometry, and second, your reinforcement. So if we move forward to a more detailed model, in this case, we converted our regular concrete geometry into a combination of a pedestal with a spread footing detail. You can do this all through different operations that are offered to you in the detail application to be able to get that geometry. Once it's ready, you can then add the different reinforcement that is needed for both your spread footing and your pedestal. So we started to take a look at the different reinforcement that can be done. As you can see here, we have the reinforcement for the spread footing, and we can begin adding the different reinforcement for that pedestal. So those ties, the different main bars that are going to be added. And if you're working with adding the anchor reinforcement, you can also start doing that here in the application. Now, once you have all of those reinforcement, you can see the full reinforcement by turning on the rebar feature. And as you can see, all the reinforcement has been added to the model. And all that is left to do is to analyze your model. There's no need to input loads because all the different results have already been passed over from connection application. Now, once we run our analysis, we can always head onto the check tab. And from here, we can start looking at the results. Just like connection on the left-hand side, you will always obtain your summary of your results. In this case, the summary is based on the concrete reinforcement and the anchorage. So we're looking at the strength checks along with the anchorage checks. So the first part of the results here that we're looking at, these are part of your summary results. We're looking at the stress flow for the concrete and also the stress flow for the reinforcement. If we want to look at those different results in detail, we can always move to the different tabs that are offered for us. If we want to look at the strength check for both the concrete and reinforcement, we can click on the strength tab. And on the right-hand side, we have the option for both of those. Now, when we're looking at the strength for the concrete, we can always turn on our compressive forces that are being developed along the entire model. But looking around the forces is not enough. And that is because you are not able to visualize the internal forces. And that is why we have created the section view. By turning on the section view, you can see what is really happening inside the model at those high concentrated areas. As part of your results for your reinforcement strength checks, you can always also see these checks as part of your results. Now we want to look at 
further more results for our anchors, we can then move on to the anchorage check to be able to see results such as your force being developed along the bar and those bond stresses that are being developed along the bar. Now here for the results, we're looking at the total forces being developed and the different colors shows how we can read both compression and tension for the reinforcement. Now, once you have verified that your anchors are passing with both the concrete reinforcement and the anchorage reinforcement, you're ready to go into the report tab. So to do that, we can just click on the report tab at the top. And from there, we can go ahead and customize our report. As you can see on the right hand side, we have different options for you to add or remove as part of your report. And from there, you can print it out. Now, once you print out your report, you will basically be done by finalizing your entire workflow by having your full steel and concrete checks available for you, all within the Idea Aesthetic application.